What's up everybody? It's me James again with another video and I hope you had a great week. I did because I don't have to work today uh, and uh, so I'm making a video. Woohoo! How awesome is that? We've got some new stuff here I'm going to show you. All right, where do I begin? Um, I talked to the distributor about the quality issue with Case and they said um, they're also kind of aggravated with Case and so with Case if you're watching People are getting sick of the stuff. And I noticed that's a very popular video that I made. Uh, it kind of, I, I ain't going to say it blew up, but I got a lot of views really quick. And I, I got a lot of emails like, hey, thanks. Um, I kind of trust, you know, you know, a lot of people, they buy these nice sight unseen. And you get what you get because, you know, you got a problem, you got to send it back to case. Um, so, you know, I got a couple, I got some positive uh, feedback from that video, which I actually expected the opposite. I actually expected some negative feedback because, I mean, I wasn't bashing Case. Um, and I don't want it to seem like I was bashing Case. I love Case. I want them to do better. I want them to succeed. I want them to be big. I want them to be great. I just don't like having to deal with the aggravation of quality issues. Um, but, I, like I said... Uh, I wasn't bashing. I hope, you know, I got a lot of positive feedback from that uh, video. And I thank you all for that. And at the same time, um, I talked to the distributor and they are also aggravated. And I, I understand their point too, because they can't be sending this stuff back to them all the time. And they're going to lose money, just like I'm going to lose money if I can't sell a bad knife. Um, so... I get their point of view as well, and they were aggravated with the stuff that I was going to send back to them. So I kind of was talking, and I figured what I'll end up doing is, uh, like I said in the video, I'm going to send my bad stuff directly to Case, and kind of like rubbing a dog's nose in it when it, uh, you know, does it on the carpet. They realize what you, well, I don't really advise doing that because dogs are dumb, but you know what I mean. I'm going to show them their errors and make them pay for it. The only problem is, is when I do that, it, the turnaround time is forever long and um, I lose money. So I might start doing something where I offer as a factory second. So keep an eye out for that. Don't guarantee every knife will be a factory second. Uh, I will basically, if I see like that doctor's knife, for example, if I can't send that back, because in some, most cases that, you know, one, you know, doctor, uh, the, in most cases, I can send back to the distributor, but when it's a big order like the last one that was all bad, um, they're not happy with that. Uh, but if I get something with a lot of issues, I might actually do seconds, which Case will be upset about. But, oh well, fix your quality control, okay, if you're watching this, you know. But that being, sa that being said, it wasn't a bash video. Thanks for the input. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't already, subscribe and like this video. And uh, there's a bell somewhere here, too, where you can click that and you will get notifications for when I make a new video. All right. Um, but th look, on Instagram, I had a gigantic thing of uh, a big order. Honestly, it's a big one because you guys love these Barlows. I mean, you love them. And I love them, too. Don't get me wrong, but you guys really love them. And uh, I ordered a bunch and um, because I'm always selling out and I'm always having to reorder and people have to wait. So I thought I get them all and we will, you know, don't have to reorder and aggravate that whole shipping and waiting. And I could check them all and have them ready to go. But out of that gigantic pile of case knives, I had like four that were that, that you won't see. I had four knives that will not be shipped to you, um, which is a pretty good margin it was over like i think it was like 30 knives so it was definitely over 30 knives so that's it's a decent thing i separated four knives out of 30 they're on the side and um i'm gonna send it back to case for rework so but um so that's that i hope you know so let's go on with the video we're just going to talk randomly this is just going to be a chill video uh not really showcasing any specific thing i'm just going to go over some of this new stuff i got let's talk about dives right this is probably more entertaining than saying this is nice yeah, this is nice this is nice in the video now let's just talk about some stuff you know let's look at these knives and kind of compare them so the distributor told me that case don't make many copper locks they make a lot of mini copper locks, but they don't make a lot of copper locks, which are 
I call them, I keep calling them large copper locks. Um, apparently they're just copper locks. <laughs> so kind of like that, that's a trapper. Um, and I would call it a trapper, but the mini trapper, you know, um, I'm so used to seeing the mini copper lock that to me, this is a large copper lock, but really it's just a copper lock. Uh, for comparison, I actually brought a, um, mini. This is one out of my collection, not for sale. Uh, but check that out. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Jeez. Stop, record, unsubscribe, dislike. All right, let's do this again. All right, there we go. My gloves are a little dirty. They've been sitting here in the basement. Well, but yeah, they're definitely a size comparison. And I always like big knives. So like the GEC Ala Hegney knife, that thing, that Coke bottle, the big Coke bottle GEC came out with like five months ago. I love that thing. It's super huge. So and I like Granddaddy Barlow's, which, man, we're going to go all over the place. This is like my ADDs coming out. All right. So I'm hoping that we're going to have Case come out with Granddaddy Barlow's. Let's let's hope for that. That'd be sick. Or you guys hate Granddaddy Barlow's, and I'm the only one with that opinion. But that'd be awesome because Case did a they hit a home run with their Barlow's. So Granddaddy Barlow, come on, Case, get with it and make every single one of them CV Chrome Vanadium because that's what people want. All right, back to this. So this is the copper lock. And this is the mini copper lock, and uh, the the big one, man, or the regular size one is pretty pretty awesome. And this is the green saw cut uh, bone. And boy, it's really looking good. Really looking good. So, awesome knives. Let me just open this one. There we go. This was a white jigged bone, which turned yellow on me. And I soaked it in peroxide for like four days or something. And then I polished it uh, with my little buffer I got over here on the drill press. And it came out like that. Ain't that something? It was ugly, and I made it nice. It started life off like this. So, got that natural pocket worn. But yeah, there's definitely a size comparison here. And the quality is very well. There is definitely knives that uh, Case can do well always. And that is copper locks, um, or mini copper locks, tribal locks. Trappers are generally really good. Canoes are really good. Uh, mini trappers are really good. Uh, basically, a lot of their stuff is really good. And like I said, out of 30 knives, I had four that I pulled aside. Most of those had blade wobble. So, but this is nice. And these are all available on my website at the moment. Let's look at something else. I know you guys love, can, uh, not canoes, Barlow's. So check that out. I, I love white bone. Um, I have a picture on Instagram that has like over 300 likes. And uh, it was like every white knife that I own from biggest to smallest. And uh, it was like the most popular video or most popular uh, picture I ever put on Instagram. And I only had like 200 followers at the time. So I guess it went semi-viral uh, for somebody with the, just starting out. But I... I like white bone, and I really like smooth white bone. I think it's classy. Always digged it. I really liked it when um, Queen made their smooth, uh, like oily bone, I think they called it, or smooth giraffe bone, and it was natural. It was white. Oh man, it's so nice. But these, these are super nice. I'm loving it. I'm gonna keep one of these for myself. I ordered a bunch of them too. So they are ready to go with that. As you can see here, I got a trapper and a canoe. And you know what? I love canoes. Canoes are one of my absolute favorite. There's some rouge here. Uh, rubbing compound from the buffing wheel. I have to get that out. Uh, but I absolutely love canoes. I think canoes are like one of the best patterns. And I don't, I don't know how most people feel about that. But I just love it. And Case makes canoes. Like, I haven't seen a bad canoe yet. So, if that tells you anything. Um, I just like how they fit. You could, you could, there's like a, you know, with the, the hump here, it's like a perfect place for your finger and, or your thumb. And I just, I just love the way that feels in the hand. You know, like that. Just love it. I think it's an absolutely great, great pattern two blades and now unfortunately all these are stainless steel 
I wish every single one of them was chrome vanadium because I know you guys love that, but I really like Casus stainless steel. It sharpens easy and it don't rust. <laughs> so, and I don't like patina. I know some of you do, so okay. Back to the white bone again. We got this here, Trapper, which is another pattern that Case makes really well most of the time. And, um, you know, I never used to buy Trappers because Trappers never really sold well for me. But uh, I've always liked them and I collect them. Uh, but recently, it seems like people started buying these things more often. So I started ordering more of them. So, but I just love them. They're big. Some of them come with a uh, belt clip. And I wish they all did because I think that'd be better. But I know some of you are like, I don't like that, you know, um, which I understand. But I do like them with the belt clip. I think that's handy. I love the spade blade. Super large one. Pow. Stainless steel, which I like. Super nice knife. This white bone is so nice. It's so super shiny. Now, this LED lighting is not like the ideal lighting for making videos, but it is super, super. It, it's, it, it, it looks better in real life. Here's another Barlow. Um, you guys love these Barlows. This is the saw cut Hunter Green with a spear blade. Awesome. Look at that. Super nice. I love look how nice that green bone is. Now I noticed like um I used to have a a, a tr mini trapper I bought years ago and it was a uh, chestnut smooth and it was one scale was super dark and one scale was super light like normal and um over a matter of like two weeks it lightened up so I think these things since they're so new I think eventually these things will change with like pocket time and they will look even better than they do now so but that green bone is super nice here's a green trapper now this one's like, I love the way this one came out. Look at that. I love the extra green on the sides. The saw cut's really good on this. Such a good knife. But yeah, I got some good stuff. Updated the website, and I even got some new pre-orders up there too. Um, and we're going to talk. This is probably going to be a long video, guys. So um, there is... Super nice. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Because I'm all over the place. I know that. But I don't, you know... Let's open some stuff up. What we got here? Oh, no. Knock that over. Let's see. Burnt amber bone. That's cool. That's not new, but I bought it. Here's a brown synthetic. Let's look at this synthetic Barlow. Um, it's brown, but I looked at a few of these, and they're really, really dark brown. Um, I see that they're popular. Okay, under this lighting, I could definitely see it's more brown now, but it's a dark brown. You see that? It's, a, it's way darker than the stock photo. Um... But these are really nice made knives. And um, if you're looking for a two-bladed kind of beat-em-up knife, this is it. And I, it doesn't even have a uh, shield on the on the uh, scale, which a lot of people don't like on a Barlow. It has this really sweet you know, sh um, name, on like a Barlow should be right there. Super nice. I love two-bladed Barlows. I really do. So that's a synthetic uh, brown plastic and then you can see it's dark it kind of looks like this in real life uh, the color wise anyway so it's a little lighter in real life um, more more brown so uh, but it's such a great knife and these are not that expensive so if you're new to collecting this would be a great one to get try out I only got like three of these because these don't sell nearly as much as the uh, the bone handled ones but I got them and um, like I said, with that 5% discount on my website, you can always save some money on top of it, too. So we got the Barlow. So we got like three new Barlows, and there's also some really sweet ones coming out. Let me, while, we're, while we're talking about where is that? Um, Sparks Green, the Sparks Green Pearl Karenite. Okay, so you know I bought that uh, GEC knife off of um, C. Risner, traditionalpocketknives.com. The, what was it, 29, I think, was the model number of that particular knife. Um, it had the, the coffee house acrylic. Okay. Well, I seen that and I started to fall in love with plastic handle. I call them plastic handle knives. So that's what they are. 
but basically this stuff here, this fancy material called Karenite, okay? So this is a white pearl. This is, uh, I uh, sometimes I like to play with making real knives. I suck at it though, so. But, so now that I got that knife from C. Risner, shout out traditionalpocketknives.com for GEC knives, you, you'll love them, check them out. Um, I started to really start collecting these things. Look at that. I don't know what it is. I keep knocking over my little billboard. <laughs> this is so nice. Who cares about the billboard, right? I'm looking at the knives. This to me is so just it's it's nice. Um just look at that. It's got like this little sparkle in it and it glows under the light. It's just got so much going on. It's got the spark shield, which has like these little green specks in it. See that? They probably don't, they don't look like that in real life. They have like little green, this is sparkle, this is sparks. You know, that's what it says. Um, this is the mini trapper. This is such a nice knife. So anyway, my point though, going into this knife is that uh, they have Barlow's coming out of these and they're ready to go. So they're shipping next week. Um, they're on my website. So if you want to Barlow with this handle material, they're on pre-order right now. So get them uh, because I'm only going to order what sells pretty much maybe like if I sell five I'll get like seven just in case there's problems um so get them if you want it get it I got the whole lineup I believe on my on slipjointguy.com and I, I got like these in stock I got peanuts on the way canoes on the way I got everything except for the trapper locks which will be coming out either this week or next it'll be next week I'm pretty sure um don't know what Case's production schedule is because they don't tell nobody but this little this little mini trapper is sick. I love it. So, and this handle material is awesome. I'm surprised I could open these things up with my gloves. So, um, like I said, I got addicted to this Karenite, this acrylic material, this fancy plastic. And it's so much better than the old stuff. The old stuff used to gas out. This stuff don't. This stuff is super durable. You can't destroy it. It's just, it's good stuff. It ain't like the, the old stuff they had way better and it's just it's it just glows it seriously glows i just i got me a, a barlow on the way let's put it that way so we got that we got all these knives check them out it's a super nice video all right what we got here while we're on the acrylic um tribal locks remember i told you case don't do bad tribal locks so check this out i took i, I took a picture of this and put it on instagram as well um, it is for sale. Uh, if you want to buy it, it's on there. And the pictures of the actual knife. But that is a... This is a Kiranite, and it's like a green sparkle. And it it's a dark green, like a hunter green, but it's also got a little turquoise in it. It's really nice. Really nice. So if you're looking for a trapper lock... No, tribal lock with this material, this stuff, this is it. Look at that. It's like space. Got a little compound in the sea there too. It's a thing. It's a trend. Locks up perfect too. Pow. No blade wobble. Perfect. Now that's a pretty knife. Not as pretty as this one though. This was crazy. So. Loving that stuff. Do you like acrylic? <laughs> I know some people collect the stuff. You know, they love it. Let's see, this is the last one. I have a canoe in this as well. It's upstairs. I could use it in my basement so I don't bother people. Um, this one I bought because I thought the blade was pretty cool. This is a burnt amber jig or amber bone. What's it say here? Burnt amber bone standard jig. This one's pretty nice. I only got like one of these and one canoe. Um, don't know how they'll sell. This is actually not new. So usually things sell best when they're new. So I didn't buy many of them, but it's really nice. The build quality on it's really good. It's very smooth, very attractive knife, honestly. Very nice. Uh, the blades on this one, look at that. It's got like, don't remember the name of the blade. Somebody's going to say it though. It's got the regular trapper style blade here, but instead of that spade blade, it's got this, I uh, forget what it's called, blade. Warncliffe, maybe? Don't know. But I think that's just sick. Looks good. And it has this nice 
decorative, you know, the decorative lines on the bolsters, which really set this apart from most trap trapper locks. Trapper locks, I'm sorry. Mini trappers. A really nice shield, too. Unique. Super nice. So, but on the website, I got some, um, some new um, pre-orders up. There's going to be a Barlow coming out in uh, smooth Mediterranean blue. So it's going to be smooth like this guy. Put this here. It's going to be smooth like him. Uh, except it's going to be Mediterranean blue, which is a very pretty color. Um, I have a stock photo. That's all I have of it right now. It's a pre-order. So, and the 5% goes for that as well. Free shipping in the U.S. So if you want, go to slipjointguy.com and you can definitely check out some of those um, blue bones. I got the whole series up there for pre-order right now. Um, and the green Karenite, we talked about that one. I got a lot of these for pre-order. I go, I'm going to get some kickstarts. If you guys are into that, you know, the, uh, that's the trapper lock that is assisted opening, um, pre-orders. So if I don't sell any, I'm not buying any because those are quality issues. I have to inspect them very well because I'm not sending crap out. Um, so Basically, I don't plan on selling a lot. Have the distributors check them before they send them. That's kind of what the plan is. Uh, let's see. Is that it? Oh, I got more red bone barlows because I sold out of those, but uh, demand is still pretty good on them. I also got a new sticker out, which some of you might see soon because I'm running out of these. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess we're at the end of the video. We're at 20 minutes. So, just talking, just knife talk, you know, fun days, fun days. I hope you all have a great weekend. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, hit the bell for, that will give you a notification uh, to when my next videos are uploaded and you'll be able to know, oh, I need to watch this Slip Joint Guy video. Um, but yeah, check out the website, slipjointguy.com. There's a bunch of new stuff on there. Uh, the front page has almost everything I'm selling. It's like right down the line I got a, a lot of uh, white bone knives if also if there's something on there you don't see or can't find my emails there you can send me an email and um, I'll track it down for you um, oh you know what I did get some Halloween knives and I only bought two of them because I, I've never bought Halloween knives before and um, I didn't open them because people were like are they sealed and I'm thinking yeah and they were like, okay, good. And I'm thinking, okay, good. I don't know. Like, I figured they'd want me to check them. But some collectors want them to be sealed. So I don't know what's up with that. But I got two of them uh, in stock. And they sold within like a day or two. Because it is, well, yesterday was Halloween. So, um, but it was pretty cool. It was a, uh, what was, not a sod buster. It was a so belly uh, with one blade and it was serrated. So, you know, and it had like the Halloween like pumpkin face on it and it was black and I bet you it would be really cool and I was going to make a review on it, but they both sold and people apparently wanted to be sealed. So I couldn't have like opened it and then like made a review and put it back. Sorry, maybe next year. So, but, so that was about it. I can't think of anything else. I heard, let's see, I heard some rumors about Queen coming back. Look that up. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. What else is there? Anything else? No. Now, I guess I'm going to end this video. We're at 23 minutes, and i um, got a good example here of a lot of awesome knives. And I'm just, I'm loving this white bone. I just love this white bone. It's super nice. Of course, this is cool, too. I'm, like I said, see, Risner, you got me addicted to this acrylic stuff, this Karenite or whatever they, I don't even know what GEC uses. Uh, that stuff is amazing. This stuff just glows. Just love it. So... I guess that's it. Check out the website, slipjointguy.com. I got some pre-orders there. So, man, I got a lot of happy people out there. Just can't thank you guys enough. The fans, the comments, the, the love you guys send. It's really good stuff. Knife community has been really good to me. So, we're coming up on uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, maybe I might get some Christmas knives in. I haven't seen any. Um, so let me know send me an email if you don't see what you want or if you know something that's coming out that you want all right that's about it hey y'all have a great weekend and i'll see you next time bye bye